everyone. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day and uh, and welcome to today's Kung Fu class. So today we're going to continue our Qi Xin Quan. So I do hope you guys enjoying enjoying our uh, online free Kung Fu classes so far. So um, if you follow also our videos about Qi Xin Quan from uh, I think we did probably about four or five lessons already. So um, you know you should be knowing where we up to now okay so today we're going to continue that form at the same time we're going to learn one simple uh, combination of foundation okay so anyway so before we do that let's quick uh, warming up and if you guys need more warming up you know so you can do uh, uh, warm, more warming up before this class okay so that's the same as before okay we're gonna start stretching arms okay ready okay let's go okay, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so I change to this way okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so arms like this gonna twist side to side Okay, ready? Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, brilliant. Next one, we're gonna quickly uh, twist around, twist around our knee. Okay, ready? Hands on your knees. Right, twist around. Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five. Change. One, two, three, four, five. Change it. One, two, three, four, five. Change it. Again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so right. So hit. Right, ready? Take off. One, two, three, four, five. Change. One, two, three. Four, five. Okay. Next one's neck. Okay, ready. Okay, go one, two, three, four, five. Change it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. So cross your fingers and your hands like that. Okay, then your toe, twist around your wrist and your toe as fast as you can. Okay, go. Very good. Okay, change. Okay, change again. And change it again. Good. Okay, stop. Right, so that's uh, our simple joint warming up. Okay, next one, let's put, uh, quick do a stretch. Okay, so. Uh, same as the last video, we're gonna start with a standing stretch. Okay, so we're gonna stretch your front leg first. Okay, ready? Okay, let's lay that. So one hand reach your toe. Okay, we're gonna go up and down on my toe. Ready? Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so same foot, both hands. Ready? Okay, go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So change. Very good. Okay, ready? Exactly the same. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So both hands. Ready? Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, okay, good, okay, relax your leg. Right, next one, we're gonna move on to pull pull stretch straight away. Okay, pull pull. Okay, ready? Okay, up and down, okay, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, so change. Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, so change again. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Turn the chin once more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. To gumbu now. Okay, so your legs go wider. Keep your back straight. Keep your back leg straight. Okay, ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So change. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So change again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Turn last one. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, ten. Okay, stop. Relax. Relax your leg. Okay, side to side. Okay, cross kick. Still relax. Okay, good. So before we move on to our foundation, just let everyone to know, quickly memorize what we did last week yeah, the, for the foundation wise. Okay, so we did Pai Jiao, I mean the Tai Jiao, Gu Mu Tui Dang, and also we did Go Tui. But today we're not practicing none of them, so because we don't have uh, so much time for those kind of classes. So make sure you try to practice the foundation we did last week because it's going to help you uh, uh, your forms, okay? This is going to be really good for your uh, forms of practice in the future. Okay, so next one we're going to do, so one foundation we're going to practice, which is Gongbu Pubu Double Punch. How we're going to do it, yeah? So Gongbu Bridge Stand, Low Bridge Stand, then you do a double punch, which is when you change to marble. I'm going to demonstrate how to do it first, then we'll do it together, okay? So look, from Gongbu, punch like that, okay? So you go, Pubu, Gongbu, then ha, marble double punch, okay? Now from here, so you got straight away, Gongbu, Pubu, one, two, then punch, Pubu, Gongbu, Hopefully you guys will get this one, okay? <laughs> you two not copying because they two don't know what's on the other <laughs> okay. So anyway, so let's practice together, yeah? So we do slow, we do slow. Okay, ready? Gumbu. Okay. One, Kumbu. Okay. Two, Ma, Kumbu, Ma. Okay. Yeah, so Kumbu. Okay, Kumbu. Okay, next one double punch straight away, yeah? Okay, go. One, two. Okay, go. One. Okay. Two. Double. Okay, three. One, two. Okay, and again. One. Two. Okay. Double again. Okay. Go. One, two. And again. One. Two. Double. Okay, go. One, two. Okay, go. One, two, go. One, two. And again, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, go. One, two, three, two. Okay, stop. Relax. Okay, simple. Okay, it's pretty much just easy. Yeah, it's very easy because we kind of done gumbu to gumbu, we kind of, kind of done that foundation already. All we did today is just actually one punch, that's all. Okay, so hopefully you guys will get this foundation because this is not we focus on anyway. Now we're gonna move on now. Uh, so next foundation we're gonna focus on, really simple because <coughs> will help you today's, help you today's form, okay? Which is called uh, push your elbow, okay? Elbow, like pushing elbow forward. Okay, this is called Ding Zhou. Okay, so if you can remember, the name will be really good because I will, I'm going to mention a lot of pushing elbow. Means uh, uh, in Chinese it's called Ding Zhou. You're gonna mention a lot of Ding Zhou. Ding Zhou, yeah? So try to remember the Chinese name for it. That'll be really good. So the movement we're gonna do today is called. Uh, it's like Lun Bi, yeah? Lun Bi means like swing your arms, Ding Dong. Swing your arm, Ding Dong. 
So the swing arm part is a little bit like a Wulong Panda. Okay, so if you can do Wulong Panda, then you can do the swing arm. So so easy. Okay, how I gonna do it? I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna show you facing this way first. Then before you guys copy me, yeah. So look, if I follow the like that, look, I'm gonna go look, one, look, two. Then I go one, two. Yeah, one. Okay, so if I show you facing this way, so it's exactly the same. Yeah, I'm gonna start with the dundo. Gonna swing my arms, yeah, then push. Swing my, my arms, yeah, step forward, push. So I do one more time. Swing my arms, step forward, down. Okay, so but normally we do a zheng jiao as well. Normally we do like bang. Then this, bang, like that. But today we're not doing that, we're just literally step forward. Just literally focus on your arms and your elbow. Mainly it's your elbow, because today we're going to use our elbow, yeah? So try to practice, push your elbow out, okay? So how to do this is really simple. As I mentioned many times early, well, not, not too many times, yeah? So basically, I'm gonna do, it's like swing arms, yeah? Look. So arms straight, like that. I do really slowly, yeah? Then you turn your whole body. Then I'm gonna step, okay? Then as soon as I go down, I'm gonna change to mabu. Yeah, mabu, push your elbow. Okay, so you can't see my movement, don't worry. If I show you this way, this way is exactly the same, yeah? Look, my arm swing straight, exactly the same as earlier. Then turn, okay, now this part is exactly the same, yeah? Look. Then I step, then I might right watch you to fist into my boot. Then push, yeah, so my left one push my right fist, yeah, look. Then your elbow push out. So your elbow parallel with your front knee, like that. Okay, you don't wanna go over there or there. So make sure your elbow parallel with your knee. Okay, now if I facing this way, so, look. So I'm gonna swing my right, yeah? I do really slowly, look. One. Swing, okay, then keep swing, turn your body, then my left one step forward, okay, this is step one. Step two, into mabu, yeah? Step three, push your elbow out. So your hands, yeah, push your fist out, so your elbow parallel your knee, okay? So don't need too high, just level to your chest. Your elbow just bow your shoulder height. Okay, then you carry on, look, swing, yeah, like this, step forward, then down, then push your elbow. Good, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do one more time, we'll do slowly, yeah, I'm gonna talk to you guys. Okay, ready? Okay, one, really slow, yeah, really slow. Okay, turn, okay, elbow, push, so, turn, Step, elbow, push. Good. So, hopefully, you guys get some ideas now. Okay? So, right now, let's practice a little bit of speed. Yeah, with a little bit of speed and power. So, when you push your elbow, so you're gonna use your hip. Yeah, so here, like, pa! Push, like, pa! push out. Not just push your elbow out. Yeah, you need to use your hip. Push out. And here, need to strike. Strike with power, okay? Let's practice straight away. So, ready? Okay. One tiny bit of speed. Mabu straight away. Two. Okay, go. Two. Mabu straight away. Three. Okay, coming back. All right, let's do one more time. Yeah, exactly the same. Okay, ready? Okay, one. And again, go one, two. Okay, stop. So that's today's elbow. Hopefully, gave you guys some ideas how to do the elbow strike. Yeah, it's really, really simple. And uh, if you can do this part, because uh, today's form will become easier. Yeah. So um, that's it. So that's uh, today's foundation. Uh, I know we haven't done the kicks. Yeah, but. 
We are gonna do the cakes right now. So today the cake we not do that many. We only do front, inside and outside. That's all. We not do all of them. But each cake we only cake four times. Gonna try to save some time for we for us to do forms. Okay. So literally stand back. Only front four cakes. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, four. Stop. Good. Okay. Next one inside straight away. Okay. So make sure follow along, guys. Yeah. Ready. One, two, three, four. Stop. Final kick. Outside. One by three. Ready. One. Two, three, four. Stop. <laughs> okay, very good. So that's it. That's all our foundation finishing for today. Okay. So, like I mentioned uh, before, if you want to do more cakes, you can post the video, do a little bit more. For example, you can do instead of four, you can do twenty times. Okay. So that's all our foundation. Next one, we're gonna move on to our main focus, which is our forms, okay? So now I just want everyone to quickly visualize what we did last week. So I gave you 30 seconds, I know it's very short, okay? Just quickly visualize how to, how to do it, okay? So. Fifteen seconds already. <laughs> the fifteen seconds too fast, I think. <laughs> okay, stop now, guys. Yeah, I I hope you guys got some ideas how what we done uh, last week. But now let's practice it together. Yeah, we're gonna from the very beginning, then we're gonna we're gonna go through a uh, couple of times. Then I'm gonna continue our new movements today. Okay. So, I'm gonna literally from here, then uh, we might have to move back in a minute, yeah? So, making sure everyone out there who is learning this form and follow along at the same time, okay? So, okay, breathe in. Ready? One. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three. Okay, this is a new movement from last week already, yeah? Ready? One, two, three. Stop. Okay. So that was a new movement from last week. Yeah, the last part. Okay. We did the Cai Jiao. So today, we're going to continue the rest of the part. But before we do that, let's practice once more. We're going to face in this way now. Okay. Rise. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. So maybe too fast? <laughs> no, it's not. It's not fast. It's not fast. All right, guys. So right now, we are going to continue the rest part of this form. Okay. Let me demonstrate it first. 
then uh, you guys can. I will uh, obviously I will explain to you guys step by step. Okay. So last week basically we finished it here. Okay. Sorry. So we finished it. Yes. We finished it to here. Okay. So next movement you're gonna learn. Okay. I I do a demonstrate first. Yeah. Before we we continue. Yeah. So look here. Okay. One. Okay. Two. Lower my elbow, okay? Three, four, five, six, this is today's a new movement. Very simple, right? Yeah, because, because it's simple, okay? So, I'm gonna do one more time, okay? So this time I'm facing this way, yeah? Just, oh. If I face it this way, uh, I think it should be okay, yeah? You still can see my movement. If I do one more demo, then we do a step by step, okay? So from last movement, ready? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, Six. Okay. So, have you got some ideas how to do it now? Uh, some of you guys will probably pick it up straight away. Would be really good uh, for you to practice, yeah. But if you haven't got it yet, but now we're gonna learn how to do it step by step. Okay. So basically, from the last previous movement, yeah. Let me just. Uh, I do it, I will, same time I will explain to you step by step how to exactly do this movement, right? So from the last previous movement here, okay, so basically your left foot landing, okay, only one bit tricky, that is why we did the elbow earlier, because we need to use our elbow to strike upwards, okay? At the same time, your body needs to sink low, and when you go up, this is when your elbow strike. Okay, how am I gonna do this, yeah? I will do a step by step, okay? So after my left foot landing, now, my right one, okay, gonna change to fist, okay? My left one, okay, which is uh, from here, gonna change from this position, gonna push it up like this. At the same time, I'm gonna push my elbow upwards, okay? Just like give you a little bit extra power or support to for you to strike your elbow upwards, okay? So which means how to, how to do it, yeah? So look, when I'm landing, I will do it really slowly, yeah? Look, my right one chin to fist, my left one from behind my back, then I'm gonna slowly meet my right. My right hand just change upwards like this, yeah? That's the slow motion like that, okay? So look, if I go one, okay? So look, I'm gonna check me here, so, before you push it up, you need to turn your body at the same time, look. Turn your body, then upwards, turn it, like that. Okay, so you make sure you strike up. At the same time, okay. Right now, yeah, we focus on upper body, yeah? So, you, we're gonna focus on my legs in a second, okay? So, let's do one more time. From here, okay. One, okay, just upper body, yeah? Don't worry about your legs just yet. So, two, okay, here. Three, look, I do really solid. Three, okay? So your elbow straight up, okay? Now, that's your upper body. Now your legs are actually very important at this point. But so you landing, okay? So your leg, yeah, when you strike, yeah, when you turn in, look, so you need it into Qi Xing Bu. Okay, so from this position you land in, you turn, look, turn in, then, my left turn, my right turn. Look, same start fist, same start stance. Then at the same time, you're sinking your body down. Then your elbow, obviously, at the same time, you're gonna straight upwards. So your stance is, your stance is the uh, Qi Xing stance, okay? So not just standing there. If you're standing there, that's wrong, okay? This is a common mistake, okay? So now, I'm gonna join the two parts together, which means, okay, so after I do this, Okay, look, I land, still do a solo, yeah? So two, look, then, pass, strike on my body, going down, okay? So imagine, okay, so just give, 
give you guys the uh, uh, idea, you know, about the application. Maybe it's easier for you to remember if I borrow my thing here. So this movement, okay, for example, yeah, so you from here, so you use your open strike, yeah, if you do too close to me, yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay, if the person behind you, yeah, how you gonna strike that person, okay? So basically, you just literally up your top, yeah, so you, when you strike, you know, after you do that, so you literally, you know, go, bam, yeah, you your elbow, look, so you, as you go down, bam, you strike, yeah? So strike, where generally? You strike your chin or stomach, yeah? For example, that's why your body go down, strike or strike elbow, uh, the uh, chin, I mean. Strike stomach or strike your chin. So it depends on the situation. Okay, so literally, whenever you go uh, go back, you're gonna go literally like, uh, pow! you're gonna go really quick. Yeah, so use your elbow strike. Okay, so thank you. So yeah, that's, that's, that's just the basic idea for the elbow strike. Okay, so now let's join everything together. Okay, ready? From our previous movement. Okay, ready? Okay, one line. Okay, next one, go straight away to the elbow strike, yeah? Go, two, two. See it? Chi Chin stance. Okay? So don't, don't all turn too much, yeah, of course, okay? Just need to turn in your elbow, so your, body, your back kind of leaning back, then that's it. So you don't want to go too much. If you do too much, you lose your balance. Okay? Just strike here. Obviously, in the arch form, this is not actually stop here. So after you do this, then you need to do the uh, Suo Chin Chi Chin, means like a uh, seven stance, uh, Chi Chin hands with your uh, crunch your body, okay? This is actual whole movement. To here is not actual soft. Reason I show you there first, because you need to understand how you're gonna use your elbow. Okay, now let's try again. So from previous movement, okay, ready? One, two, okay, so your body kind of back down, yeah? So next one, okay, I'm gonna move on now. From here, so, you literally gonna go down, lock your fist, yeah? Okay, let me show you my fist first, look. Your fist chin to palm, then into chi chin hand, cover your knee, look, cover my knee, okay? So, that's my right, yeah, look, cover your knee. But your left hands, your left one, palm, look, your palm stay the same, then just drop to your right shoulder, there you go, to your right shoulder. That's what you need to do for next movement, yeah, look, from here, one, then same stance. This is the actual movement for this form, uh, for this session, I mean, okay? So let's try again. One, and again, two. Okay, easy enough, right? Now, let's join these two parts into one go. Okay, so from previous movement. That, that's actually one movement, guys. Yeah, just to let you to know. Okay, ready? Okay. One, land. Two, three. Good. Okay, once more. Ready? One, two, three. Good. Last go. So, ready? Go. One, and two. Yeah, so we kind of merge this three movement, you know, uh, like four movement into three and three to one. So that's good. Okay, so that's how you're flowing the whole movement together. Okay, now if you're here, let's move on to the next part. Okay, so next movement, okay, let me, uh, oh, basically I demonstrated already, yeah. So this movement we pretty much did previous class already, which is called the Tan Tui, yeah. What Tan Tui, well, in the, in the actual form in here, we call the Shizu Tan Tui, means cross kick. Yeah, cross kick with Qi Xing stance. Yeah, cross kick with Qi Xing stance. It's, we kind of did it last week already, but I, anyway, I'm gonna show you how to exactly do it again, okay? So basically, from here, okay? So now your right hands, yeah, look. Right hands, your elbow, look. You're gonna turn, yeah, like that. Then, then go back under your Elbow, left elbow, then your left one push up. You can chin him down. Okay, look here. So you see from here, look. One. Okay, this movement is very obvious. So if you understand the uh, last class, you understand what here. Yeah, this is obviously it's like a block. Yeah, or grab. Block or grab. 
Okay, so imagine, okay, so if I borrow Martin again, so you see, so, so like, let's say, okay, Martin do a strike, yeah, so block, strike, then you can't do a block, you just literally block, like, block, punk, this is a tuck, yeah, you can't do, do a block and a tuck at the same time, for example, do I get that, one, yeah, then this one tuck all the way, or you can grab, yeah, so you like that, you grab, then you pull back, same time, this one, like, punk, strike, yeah, so at the same time, Okay, obviously, the next movement, after you do this bit, so after you pull it back, you can do, okay, look, same as last week, yeah, the palm, then you can grab back again, then you can bang another strike, use your, your uh, uh, wrist to do another strike, strike. So which is what we're gonna do it now, okay, same here. So, uh, right, now, let's do again this movement, yeah, because this is not kind of a brand new movement, yeah. So I respect you guys know how to do it from last week, okay? Look, one here. So next one, you're gonna go up, tuck, yeah, like that. Use your wrist to tuck. Same time, you do a tan tui, yeah? Look, from here. One, two, pow, tan tui. Then landing in chi chi size. Then exactly same as earlier, like that, yeah? So chi 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 or crunch your body into uh, uh, seven star stance, okay? So, let's do one more time from here, okay? Look, one, two, three, okay? So your elbow, at this point, your elbow bending, your palm near your right shoulder, like that. So that's the, the whole movement of today. I understand the last part, we didn't explain too much because we kind of did it last week already. So uh, hopefully you guys get some ideas how to do the last part, okay? So right now, okay, let's press the new part a couple of times, then uh, we're gonna warm down, okay? So let's from literally from previous movements, okay, ready? Okay, one, this is the number one, yeah? Okay, two, Once more, okay, ready? One, two, okay, so now I'm gonna face in this way, yeah? Ready? One, two, And again, so. one, two, okay, so have you guys got some ideas how to do it, okay, so I do I hope you guys uh, uh, got some uh, ideas, okay, so only one thing that I want to remind everyone, when you do the Tan Tui, Try to not go kick too low, yes? A kick minimum, save your waist high, okay? Not kicking too low. And uh, second uh, reminder is like, uh, you will over strike. Like I said, uh, uh, mentioned earlier, don't over lean. If you over lean, you're gonna lose your balance. Just keep your back straight, just elbow straight up, okay? So number three, you know this movement, yeah? So after you do this bend, this bend is really simple, yeah? Just try to imagine someone uh, throw a punch to you, you know? You just need literally like either you block down or you grab that tuck. Yeah, then attack, then another tuck straight away. Okay? So whenever you use your wrist tuck, make sure you bend your elbow and plus uh chi in this form, yeah. So a lot of uh, you know like hands or elbow or even your legs or bending because this is a kind of a traditional forms. At the same time, this is like a style of this fist as well, okay? So make sure, don't go, whenever you do, don't, whenever you strike, don't go too straight, your arms or your leg, okay? This is the uh, principle for this form, okay? So that's it, I do hope you guys enjoy this class and uh, we're gonna continue the next week, okay? So if you guys are enjoying this class and make sure to 
uh, if you want to support what we do and go to our website there's a lot of uh, way you can support you know not just financially other ways as well of course okay so that's it next thing I want you guys to warm down with this tool so sorry <laughs> then uh, I will see you guys in next class okay thank you <laughs> okay guys, well done. So um, we go, we're both going to show you a small warm down. Just very relax your body and swing your arms forward. Janine's, I'm going to do the upper body. Janine's going to do the legs. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, backwards. Okay. And then just relax your arms. Sort of punch forward, relax your arms. Use your arms quite a lot today, huh? <laughs> Okay, and then one forward, one back. And then change. And we just do a little stretch for the arms before Janice shows us the legs. <laughs> okay, so just put your arms across like this. And then tuck your chin over the front of your arm. You're just stretching all of your bicep up, your triceps. Okay, and then back over the top of your head. Okay, good. And just really stretch all the way up the side of your body. Okay, fantastic. Okay, change to the other side. So you just hook your arm in front. Okay, and then put your chin over the top of your arm. You can do this lying down on the floor as well. If you want to get an extra stretch, you can lie forward on the floor. That will really stretch your arm out. <laughs> it's really comfortable. <laughs> okay, good. And then just stretch your arm up. Try to pull your hand down the back here. So pull your elbow towards you and then stretch your hand down the back of your body. And then just lean as well at the same time, just get extra stretch. Okay, very good. Arms done. Okay. Janine. Legs, yeah? <laughs> okay. Well, let's go into marble first. Marble. Okay, marble. Yeah. Nice and straight. And let's see if you can touch your feet. And you stretch your elbows, go to your knees, and you stretch your legs out a bit. Yeah, yeah, very good. So yeah, you can do it like Martin, or you can put your just stretch hands, hip up. Yeah, try to get your bum a bit lower. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Okay, and then from here, um, we just go quickly into Gongu as well. Yeah. And then put your back heel up. Yes. And go a bit lower. Again. Yeah. If you push down your hip. Okay. You can feel the strength. Yes. You feel it already, right? Okay. Then put your knee down. And sit on your back. Sit on your back leg. Yeah. And then we'll see if we can touch our feet. If that's easy for you, <laughs> see if your forehead can touch your toes. If that's easy for you, see if your chin can touch your toe. Mm. If you find that difficult, you can always bring your, your leg yeah. to the front here. Yeah. If you have a knee problem, you can bring your leg here as well. Okay, okay. If you can't sit on the back of your leg. Three, four, five. Okay, then we go back into Gungu to the other direction. Just normal Gungu first. Then put your heel up, stretch a bit lower. And again, put your leg down. So you either, as Martin said, we go back, or if you can't do that, just do it like this. It's easy too. <laughs> okay. And Reach forward as best as you can, but keep your front leg straight. This is quite a good exercise to do if you don't have a, a platform to put your leg up on. Yeah. So this was a really good one to practice. Okay, good. And then you do one last one, just sit down. Okay. And you just do this one, this is my favorite. Then my favorite. <laughs> it's like just to open your hip out. Okay, so you put your feet together, then also see if you can put your feet as close to your body as you can. At the same time you keep your legs straight, and then if you can, just push your knees to the floor. You can ask people for help. <laughs> yeah, like this. Shall I show you? 
like this. If you have a friend like me, you can help you. A nice friend. <laughs> you can help by stretching like this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's yeah, fine. or you can stand like <laughs> get stuck. Okay. Stood up. Yeah. Good. Okay, let's get up. Let's do just 10 jumps. Okay, and just stretch your legs out a bit. Okay. Okay, yes, good, yeah. You <laughs> so we hope you've enjoyed um, the Qixing Chuan class today. Um, remember the classes are on every Saturday morning and they're live so you can, you can just tune in, watch and join in. Please do leave your comments and let us know how you're getting on. Um, and if you've got any questions about your training as well, you can just email us, us yeah, yeah. and ask us, send us a message. But don't remember not to go away because... Stay on for the Shaolin Talks. <laughs> yeah, we've got some Shaolin Talks coming up. Yeah. Um, um, this month we're all chatting about culture. Yeah. Um, so we have a, a lovely culture talk. Um, I hope that yeah. you guys really enjoy it. Very interesting people. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah. Okay. okay, so thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you again next week. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>